Kids across eight counties are getting the chance to experience fine arts and culinary arts through a program called the Prodigy Cultural Arts Program. Here to explain it further is one of the instructors and artist himself, Junior Polo. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you this morning. Good to see you too. And your beautiful artwork, which you've brought in. So let's start there Thank because you. I want to give you some uh, some credibility here Thank on you. what an amazing <laughs> artist you are Thank you. Uh, for yourself. But explain the type of art that you do, and then we'll get into um, how you're able to, to help students across the, again, all these counties right here in the Bay Area. All right, uh, my art is the. Uh, it's a. Uh, you say it's more of like. Media. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. it's mixed media. I use uh, mostly uh, recycled material mm -hmm. to do my art, and it's depend it's depend on where I work, where I where I do where I stand to work, and I use everything around me. For you even gave me the example when he walked into yeah. the studio today. He's like, if I worked here, I'd be using this and that. Yes. And you yeah. just kind of, that's how an artist's brain works, I think. Yeah. You look at things and you, th you see things differently than I yeah. think how traditional yeah. folk yeah. do, right? Yeah. So this is, a, and again, behind here. And you said it, it is kid-like, which I think you yes. were saying uh, you, Like I told well, you earlier, you know, my work, I've learned from kids. Mm -hmm. Because I've been working with kids like a long time yeah. ago. And uh, I learn from them, and my style comes from kids too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talk about this Prodigy program, and, and we're talking about the arts this morning, but I know there's dance and there's culinary, and I mean, it's just multifaceted. Tell us about the, the mission of this Prodigy program. Okay, Prodigy is there like to transform a young life. Mm -hmm. it, we try to get the best out of the kids. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, drama, music, dance, fine art and spoken word. Mm -hmm. It's all the class we offer at Prodigy. And these are an example of some of your students that's been in your class yes. working in the arts, correct? Yes. yes. So what type of different arts are you able to kind of help it steer them and instruct them in? And okay, at Prodigy, myself, uh, mm -hmm. we, we do uh, oil pastel, mm -hmm. we do acrylic mm -hmm. and clay. And then what's really cool about this program, I want to make sure people understand this, um, it's actually free of charge for these families, correct, and these students? Yes, yes. People pay nothing to be in this program. You just have to go to the website mm -hmm. and uh, go to uacdc.org, mm -hmm. and then you look for program, and then you, you see uh, Prodigy Cultural Art. And then you click on it and you get an application yeah. and you fill the application and then you look where the, wherever you live. If you live in Pasco, mm -hmm. Pinellas, Orange County, um, uh, Again, there's eight counties, so yeah, it's It's anywhere you live, yeah. but you can just find a prodigy close near to you and then you can just bring the application there and then your kids can be part of this program. What I love about it too is from what I understand, there's showcases throughout the year as well where students can kind of show off whether it's their artwork or their latest, you know, dance, you know, um, things that they've learned, right? I mean, yes. Yes, the community this, can come out and support these kids. Yes, this year we, at UACDC we're going to have a showcase. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ask everybody to come a little bit to dress up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to build a gallery mm -hmm. inside the gym at UACDC. And where we're going to have a red carpet Aww. things for the kids. We want to show them how it's, how it's, how it's look uh, opening reception gallery yeah. and we want them to have that experience and we're going to build that together and then we, they're going to hang up their own artwork and we're going to have a nice uh, fun over there. Um, you know, I'd say it all the time on the show. I love supporting the arts. I love supporting kids, you know, at an early age for this as well. As we kind of get ready to wrap up here, what is it about the arts? And certainly I know there's some at-risk students, you know, that are involved in these programs too, but what have you seen, you know, be able to take place as these classes continue to where you can really kind of see their life transform? I know you've seen that already. Yes, I see that a lot. For example, I have a ki some kids who struggle at school, mm -hmm. don't know, can't focus at school. You know, with through art, to help the kids to stay focused. Yeah. Particularly, you know, when you do art, you have to you see the kids mm -hmm. how they concentrate there. You know, sometimes some kids they can't really focus on on things, but the art help them do mm -hmm. that. You know, and also we have some kids when they do, when they mm -hmm. they've been in like a lot of trouble. Yeah. And I think the art helped them it's to... It's a creative yes, outlet, yes, which we were talking yeah. about for generations, you know, yes, in, yeah. in decades. We've needed that. Kids yes. always need that, and adults as yes, well. Yes, yes. I think well. art helped a lot. Yeah. It helped the kids a lot. 
We're going to put all the information on our website so people can find out more about this program, help keep it going as well. I know you yeah. guys are always doing fundraising things as well. Thank you so much for coming Thank in today. You. Thank, Thank you, you for what you're doing My uh, for the kids across, again, eight counties. So if you're interested, please go to our website and make yeah. sure to get more details there. But thank you so much for coming in Thank this you. morning, Junior. Thank you.